All right, in this video, we're going to be discussing the clavicle and then the other upper extremity bones. So we're gonna start off with the clavicle here. Uh, part of this video is describing how this anatomically sits in the body. So we're gonna be covering for each one of the bones how they basically sit. So we're gonna discuss what is a, an anterior versus a posterior, a medial and a lateral aspect of the bone. And then we'll be going through individual bony landmarks as we go. So as you can see, the clavicle here has an interesting shape to it. A lot of times this is described as an S shape. So that's something that's really unique and able to distinguish this bone because we really don't have many bones in the body that look exactly like this. Uh, we're gonna start um, with anatomical. So oftentimes this more medial aspect of the bone is what is described as convex versus towards the posterior part right here. It is concave. But as you start working your way from medial to lateral, you have convex, and then it goes concave in this direction here. So again, medial, convex, and lateral is concave, and that's from an anterior view. Next, if you look along the top of this bone, which I currently have it in correct anatomical position, it's actually quite smooth. So there's not a lot of bony landmarks across the and or superior aspect of it, but if I roll it to the inferior surface, you're gonna to start to see some little grooves, some pits, a bump, and a rough patch here. So the bumpier surface goes inferior, and this much smoother surface goes superior. So I now know this is more the front of the bone, the anterior part, and this is the superior part of the bone, versus out to the side here, we have the lateral aspect, and this is the inferior view here. So we'll look at the two ends just to make sure that you don't accidentally put it like so in your body, um, which again still follows that convex and concave rule. However, it has that bumpy surface facing up. So let's flip that back over. The medial end, which we're looking at right now, has a nice almost circular or oval shape to it. This is your sternal end, and this specifically is the articulation with your sternum, or more specifically the manubrium. So that's what this end looks like. It has a nice round or oval-like shape, versus if we look at the lateral end, it's much flatter. So again, top to bottom, superior, inferior, it's flatter. Sometimes I'll talk about more like a flathead screwdriver versus a, a much rounder end on that side. So this is the acromial end, otherwise known as the lateral end. So this portion of the bone articulates with the scapula, specifically the acromion process of the scapula. So now that you've kind of have an idea of how this bone sits anatomically, again, medial versus lateral, the more medial anterior versus lateral anterior, the superior being smooth and the inferior being a little bit rough and bump here. Um, we're going to start to discuss each one of the landmarks one at a time. All right, so now that we've discussed the anatomical landmarks and how they kind of sit in space, we're now going to go through each individual landmark into describing the bones. So I'm going to be starting here on the medial end. Again, we've talked about this being a nice oval shape to it. This medial end here is also known as the sternal end. So again, what I'm grasping in the screen right now is the sternal end of the clavicle. And this round kind of facet here or flat spot is for the manubrium of the sternum. So this is often the facet for the manubrium or the facet for the sternum, which is half of your sternoclavicular joint. The next landmark, and I'm gonna roll this over to the inferior surface here, you're gonna see a slight indentation or what's known as an impression so we have a ligamentous attachment here. This clavicle is sitting directly over top of the first rib, and there is some costal cartilage of that first rib. So it goes from the costal cartilage to the clavicle. That's called the costoclavicular ligament, and this is its attachment right in here. So the slight impression is for that ligament specifically. Again, as we look at the inferior surface of this clavicle, it might be a little bit more challenging to recognize, but all along this surface right here, there's a slight indentation that runs along it. So we often call this a groove because it's not just one spot, but it expands a little bit farther across the bone. And this is a muscle attachment. So the muscle known as subclavius is actually attaching here along the inferior surface of the clavicle. So that muscle 
going from rib to clavicle is going to help depress the clavicle a little bit. And so again, this impression along here is specifically for that muscle. I'm working my way lateral, and the next thing I'm going to come across is a quite obvious bump. This is a tubercle. So if I sit this bone anatomically, this landmark, you can just start to see it right here, is on the lateral aspect of the bone. It is on the inferior aspect and is more towards the posterior. And this landmark is known as the conoid tubercle. So right in this area, conoid tubercle. And that is also for a ligament, and that is known as the conoid ligament. So this is a bony landmark for that. And if you're taking a look carefully from this bump, you'll see this nice roughened patch that's going from the conoid all the way to the end of the bone. And so this is known as the trapezoid line. Again, another ligament. So the trapezoid ligament is attaching to this part of the inferior clavicle. And actually those two ligaments, the conoid and trapezoid, collectively make what is known as the coracoclavicular ligament. So coming from below and up into that. So both of these two landmarks are both for ligamentous attachment. The last part of the bone, kind of discussed it a little bit already, is this whole end. This is known as the acromial end of the clavicle or also the lateral end. And again, it has a nice flat spot, otherwise known as a facet, specifically for the acromion process of the scapula. And that would be half of your acromioclavicular joint. So those joints will be discussed in other videos and some of the ligamentous tissue. So stay tuned for other ligaments of the upper extremity. That is going to conclude all the bony landmarks of the clavicle.